everybody! My name is Jessica and you're with Stella Rose Studio. Today I'm going to be going over 2011 favorites. So I think I'll start off with makeup and then I will transition into a few other items. All beauty products though. And just as an FYI to let you guys know, if you guys notice how large my pupils are, it's because I just came back from the eye doctor and they put those annoying eye drops in your eye where they where your pupils dilate so they can see in them. So they look weird. I'm sorry if you can tell, but that is the reason why. So now I will get into it. I think first to start, um, I will start with foundations. My favorite foundations of 2011 were um, from Chanel. Um, the first one is Vita Lumiere Aqua. I love this foundation. Um, I love this foundation because when the weather's a little bit dry, um, even in the winter months, it just gives you that nice kind of almost dewy, it just is more moisturizing for your skin. It just gives a gorgeous illumination to your skin. Um, that's actually what I have on right now. So love this stuff. It's great. Um, I actually have to go get more. The second one is Perfection Lumiere. I think this came out uh, this past fall. It's a great overall foundation. Um, it is more dry than the uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua. It, not more dry, but it dries to more of a powdery finish than rather than a kind of dewy, glowy look. So if you want something that is a little bit more of a powder finish, this is awesome. Um, and I kind of also compare this to the Matte Lumiere, and for some reason I just like this so much better. Um, it's just a good overall foundation. Next, um, on to bronzer. I love Chanel's Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is amazing. And, okay, I did not mean to just have three Chanel products in a row. I think that's all we have for Chanel. But um, this stuff is great. It's not too orange. It's not too uh, brown. It's just a really great uh, bronzer. It has a, just a little bit of shimmer in it. So I actually still use it for contouring. Um, but it's not sparkly, it's not a lot of shimmer, so you can use it for on the tops of your cheeks like a sun-kissed look, or you can use it for a um, more of a definition or contouring bronzer as well. So I love this stuff. On to uh, highlighter. Uh, last year I got this Dior, it's called Dior Shimmer Powder, and this is in 02 Amber Diamond. There's two different colors. I really like this Amber Diamond because it's a great, um, it's just an awesome highlighter. I use it all the time. Um, this is a great powder highlighter. So, you know, it's um, this one's a little bit more of the bronzy look, uh, or a little bit more of the browns and warm colors, and I think the other one they have is more of a pinky tone. So just depending on what you're looking for, but this is great, I love it. All right, on to an eyeshadow palette, the Naked Palette. This is all over YouTube. There's been so many um, tutorials on it, so I'm not gonna go into depth on this, but the Naked Palette, it's great. There are tons of colors, and whenever I travel, this is pretty much my go-to palette. It's awesome, I mean, they have, Highlights, they have some mattes and shimmers. The only negative I would say about this palette is there aren't very many matte colors. I'd say there are one, two, I only see two matte, which is Naked and Buck, these two right here. The rest of them are shimmery, which is great, but um, if you want more mattes, I would probably look into the Naked 2 palette that came out or another just great palette. All right, next is MAC lipstick in the color So Chode. This is a matte lipstick, and I love this red. If you can see that. It is awesome. It's actually the color I have on right now. And I love MAC's Russian red. That is their basic red. But especially for spring, now that everything's kind of warming up and you're seeing more colors, I love this color because it's a little bit more on the um, orange side. So it goes with a lot of what's going on in the spring. Oranges are in, tangerines are coming in. You're seeing that a little bit more on the runways. So I definitely recommend this color if you like that type of color scheme. 
Otherwise, the Max, I love Max Russian Red too. That's a great go-to classic color if you want to do a red lip. Alright, on to my favorite mascara of 2011, which I still use now all the time. This is Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express. Now, Maybelline has come out with a few mascaras that have the same similar packaging, the purple packaging. And um, this one I like in particular compared to the other ones is because... This one actually has little uh, microfibers, I think they're just, they call them fibers, in the um, formula. So you can't really tell from here, but the fibers actually elongate your lashes and make them look a little bit longer. So I love this. Um, and whenever you're, if you're going to buy it, make sure you read the back of the packaging because I have another Falsies mascara which actually looks like, this one says it's flared, but it does not have the fibers in it. So as long as you read the back, it'll tell you if that's the fibers or not. All right, um, let's see. Eyeliner pencils. NYX has these eyeliner pencils and they are gorgeous. They are called Slide On, Glide On, Stay On waterproof extreme shine eyeliner so they come in a lot of gorgeous colors this one's just the this one is emerald green this blue one is called sunrise blue this is gorgeous and then the purple one is purple blaze and of course the black um so these are just awesome. They come on super pigmented. I'll actually put the green one on the back of my hand, the green one and the blue one, so you can see it. Actually, let's do green, blue, and purple, so you can see all of them. So literally, this was like one swipe. I hope you guys can see that okay. Um, these are just awesome. I use them in my waterline, and they're gorgeous. So they stay put. They're very pigmented, and they're super inexpensive. I, I get these at Ulta. I don't. Sephora doesn't carry NYX. So if you have an Ulta near you, or if you don't, you can always go on to Ulta.com. But these are awesome for the price. I think they're like eight bucks each, somewhere around there. I could be mistaken. So those are great. Then I think the last. Um, item of makeup I have for you is from Anastasia. It's the Brow Wiz Pencil in, I wear Ash Blonde. It's actually what I have on my eyebrows right now. Um, but this is great. One end is a twist up, which I love twist ups because it's for some reason I think it's just so annoying to get out a pencil sharpener all the time. I know it's like not a big deal. It takes two seconds, but I just love the twist ups and how small it is. Can you see how small that, um, the tip is, which is nice because it allows you to get very precise and get little lines which kind of look like real hairs or can mimic the um, look of a hair with an eyebrow. So that's one end and then the other end is the groomer. So it's nice to have both because I'm always, before I put on my eyebrow pencils, I always groom and brush my brows out first. So it's nice to have both on one thing. So that is a favorite. Okay. Um, now I'm going to be doing a couple beauty products. Um, face lotion. I just recently found last year some pretty simple, inexpensive face lotions. It's by CeraVe. And I think I just got these. You can get them at Target, CVS, Walmart, you know, any basic store. And one is for the AM. It's SPF 30. And I love this stuff because it's a lot of face lotions are only SPF 15 or maybe don't have enough SPF, but you guys always need to make sure you have SPF on your face when you go outside. Definite must all the time. And then I like how they came out with a PM facial moisturizer because um, you're not, it's actually not good to wear SPF um, all the time and especially in the nighttime when you're sleeping. So it's always better to have a, a morning moisturizer with an SPF and then an afternoon or not afternoon but evening before you go to sleep after you wash your face with one that does not have an SPF. So these are awesome. I think they're maybe 10 bucks each somewhere around there. So you know they're not going to be as expensive as your high-end moisturizers but I love them. I don't notice they have very much fragrance and they're just great. So Moving on, um, another face item. I love these. These are Makeup Removing Wipes by Neutrogena, and these are awesome. I've tried a lot of different kinds of makeup removing wipes, and I just have noticed these do the best job. Um, I use two wipes every night before I go to um, 
go to sleep. I use one to take off my makeup and then I use the second one to actually clean. Um, if you use just one, I do not feel like that is a proper way to cleanse your face because there's so much makeup on the first wipe. Even if you just wear a little bit of foundation, you're just pretty much smearing that foundation on your skin. So it doesn't do the best job of cleaning. I would definitely recommend using two. All right. Um, another item which is called Travelo. This is awesome because I travel all the time. Um, and I fly a lot and I travel all the time. So when I travel, I like to take these with me. What it is is a perfume or cologne holder. And this is the first one I found that is very easy to do. Um, this is the lid, so you literally just pop it off and you can spray. But how you get the your perfume in there is on the bottom, you can see is a tiny little um, circle. And all you do is you take the lid off of your perfume and you stick this on top of the perfume and you just pump and the perfume or your cologne will automatically go in there, it's spill free. It's great, these are awesome. So, definitely a good handy item. It's, it's a good gift too. If you have anything, you know, a birthday coming up for a friend, it's like a simple little gift if you want to just get someone like something easy. Um, tanning, for the body, I love these L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Towelettes for the body. I always get the medium color, which I think is the darkest one. They do have a lighter color. But if you open these up, it comes with this guy here, and you just peel it off. And one of these towelettes is for your whole body. I put it on my face, my body, and whatever area you want to be the most tan. I normally start with that, and then as you go down or through your body, around your body, then you unfold the towelette. Um, I have not noticed any streaking. The only places where you could get some streaking would be on your hands. Um, but that's because I start usually with my upper body and get more on my hands. So I definitely recommend this, especially if um, you want something that's going to be clear or you're going to be wearing a white t-shirt or you don't want to get color on it. Because I love um, some of my tanning lotions, but they come out dark, so you're going to get instant color right away, which is great. But if you want something to put on right after the shower that's not going to get on your clothes, I love these. These are awesome. And the last product I have, last but not least, is actually a shampoo. Um, Paul Mitchell came out with a new line, uh, the Aopui line, I think, yeah, last year in 2011. And these are awesome. Um, even their mousse is great. You know, I could do a separate video probably all on just hair products, but I love this stuff. Use just a little bit and it is so lathering and moisturizing your hair. It smells amazing. Um, I think it's sulfate free and um, it's just, it's, it's great. Now, granted, it is a little bit more expensive than your regular shampoo. Um, so, you know, it just depends. I don't need to use that much shampoo, obviously, because I have really short hair, but, um, you know, it's, it's up to you. I think it's worth the investment to buy good shampoo and conditioner because I've noticed a difference in my hair when I do. So, I think that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment and, um, yeah, thanks for joining me and we will, I will hopefully talk to you later. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.